to maybe the second leg of a little parlay here because we've got Roma, who I was really impressed with last week, at minus 202 against Empoli, uh, plus 560. By the way, someone wants to talk to me about the uh, pitch that Empoli played on. Um, first <laughs> game of the season, it looked like a ploughed field. It was. I, I was expecting like onions and cabbages and that to be springing up, or someone come on at half time, and and I can't understand why. Roma minus one, minus one twenty, free hit. Thank you. We'll take that. Draw plus three twenty six. Empoli not to score plus one oh three. Uh, I'm loving it. Lecce don't score and lose. Empoli don't score plus one oh three. There it is. Uh, yeah, Mina, take it away because Roma win to nil for me. You were impressed by them. Yeah, I really was. And if you want me to go a little bit more in depth here, I tell you what I saw. They had such an urgency and a want and a work ethic to recover when they'd lost the ball. They so didn't want the opposition to have real carved out chances. They they lost the ball. Everyone loses the ball. Everyone makes mistakes. But their attitude and their athleticism to get back in to a solid position was so, so good. And that's the reason I'm not going for Empoli. I don't think Empoli break Roma down. And I think Roma will score goals. And listen, they should have scored two second half. Dobbic scores a million goals last year in La Liga. He misses from two yards from a head hits the bar and he then uh, lets one go either over his legs Pellegrini runs on side foots it from seven yards out middle of the goal and he hits the keeper they should have been 2 nil. if Rome had won 2 nil, I was really impressed with them and they weren't at their best so can Empoli score versus Roma I think this no. is a win nil. Um, yeah. I don't think Empoli can score and yeah. Their pitch, they did come out, by the way, and apologise for it. They were supposed to put a certain type of chemical, I don't understand the chemistry behind this, uh, to have healed. The- they said that uh, the, 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 the works were delayed because uh, they were asked by Italian Association to give the pitch in July to allow the Libyan League to play the finals on that pitch. But then the league was not played and... The finals were not played anymore, so they was but they said for the next home game it will be ready. It was it like uh... it looked like they've had festivals on it. I seriously yeah, thought it was like, like that too. it was hilarious. I mean, it was yeah. hilarious because like clumps of it were just falling out everywhere. You yeah. Know? Yeah, um, squiggles. I do, I do worry, right? Because there's no Dybala, and I do think Dybala makes a difference for them. Because I still look at that, and I think for all their intensity, and I think that this is something that Roma spoke about well. De Rossi spoke about in great detail, which he said, my team plays at its best when it's got optimum fitness levels, right? And right now we're seeing that intensity. It's what makes them fun. But I'm not entirely sure that they've yet got that player that sort of, you know, I think they need Chiesa. And unfortunately, I don't think they're going to get him. And I and I think without Dybala, I'm a little bit worried about how much they can conjure up. You've got Dovbeck, you've got, you. Know, I don't, again, I don't know whether they've got a good enough right back. I don't know if they've got a good enough left winger. So there's different things about Roma that I think that I worry about whether or not this team will make top four. And this is the time to get promoted into the top four and try to really make a push for it. And I'm not sure that De Rossi has been given the perfect team to fulfill his ambitions within the side. Having said that, just focusing on this game alone, Empoli is just not a team that you need to be fearing at the moment. So we're looking at, I don't know how many goals can be scored, but I would imagine this is a, this is, this is a fun time for Roma. This is a time to start showing off some of their best players and for, for the others like Dovbig and Pellegrini to show what they can do. So I would go for Roma. I'm, I'm thinking about 2-0 because I just can't see Empoli scoring anything or really causing much, um, much harm. However, I don't think Empoli are so poor defensively. So I don't think this is going to be a 3-4-0. So I've got Roma win to nil at plus 140. Plus 140. I've already got Empoli not not scoring. Plus 103. You can go with that and just take the nil-nil if they have one of them days and the keeper uh, turns into Superman. But the way that Roma play, the way that Roma set up, the pace that Roma play, Empoli are not going to be breaking them down because they're going to be worried about being picked off. Because Dovbik, I think, will score. And I love that. Foxy says, Roma to win, Dovbik to score is plus 165, Tan. Um, it could be it's a good one I go more for uh, Roma to win and uh, um, under two and a half goals Uh, I took note of what you said about being impressed by 
by Roma because I think that your uh, uh, footballer I notice things that uh, I don't want to say we don't notice, but probably you have a fascination for just the one things. eye. Not well, just one eye. Like, Can you not like say this, your like footballer's this. eyes. When, when you hold your uh, your wide forehead and you look with this, uh, so I took note of that. <laughs> at the same time, at the same time, the thing you noted about it is true that is not automatically <laughs> helping you to score when you no. are struggling in the offensive phase. Yeah. And Roma, that was uh, being leveled with Cagliari yeah. for a big part of the game, mm -hmm. as soon as Dybala entered the pitch, things changed. Roma yeah. didn't win that game against Cagliari only by chance, because Dybala completely stole the show and gave... Uh, two or three assists that uh, were really that close to be scored like completely different and once again as it was last year as it was two years ago 51 percent of the offensive phase of roma is all uh, standing was all standing on shoulders of dibala now i still think that they will take this game first home game great atmosphere also there will be that reaction from uh, the team to show that they can do it uh, without dibala Empoli are very limited, are, uh, they are uh, well disposed on the pitch, but very limited. But that's why I'm saying, yes, Roma to win, they don't score that much. Over the, beyond this game, they will have to work a lot because without Dybala, they have to completely rethink about, uh, about their offensive phase. And considering that... They're lucky, uh, yeah. I mean, why won't they get Chiesa? Because Chiesa is not in the uh, same... It's exactly what I, I was going to say. One thing would be if Chiesa would arrive in place of Dybala. Not the same, but anyway, mm. it's a different way to break the opposite. But Chiesa very likely should land to Barcelona. And so... Um, Rafinha? So, no, no. no. <laughs> Because the counter attack, I don't see genuine pace, I don't see genuine creativity and ideas in the way that and filling the spaces, right? They don't fill spaces very well for Roma. Yeah. So that was that's what worries me. And without Dybala now, I and, and also the fans are really upset, and that's gonna create that kind of atmosphere of why did we just let go of our best player and who we're we getting in turn? And Kate, for three million. And Keza oh, no. as a team gets you like, you know, you fan satisfaction. But if they don't get Keza, which is very highly likely now because Barcelona's in there, then what have they got? And do they have enough? But Barcelona can't <laughs> register players at the moment, so that's a bit of a risky one as well. I mean, you you've got Danny Elmo who's been sitting in his hotel room waiting to be registered and they're still yeah. trying to get rid of players. Um the other one is Tammy Abraham came on and looked like Tommy Abraham. Uh, he was like <laughs> and like a fish up a tree. He trod on the ball, he part he was like trying to do too much, trying to impress in a short space of time. Um and he looked so unlike Tammy Abraham. So there is things there that and the players that will need to be um moved on. And obviously moved in and moved in quickly because we've only got like nine days before the end of the deadline. Let's have a little look at the official picks. It's all about Roma for me. Roma are under three and a half at plus 107. That brings in one nil, two nil, three nil. Uh, Roma win to nil at plus 139 for me. And Roma are under two and a half at plus 240. Come on, the Roma two nil. We're going to be more than happy with that. Remember, you can do Inter uh, winning to nil as well. Or just do... Uh, Let's do Empoli, not to not to score at plus one oh three.